Hi, it's Albert Tricasso, 412-559-2731. That, you can text me there. It's my personal number for texting. And I give that to you because I am a real person. And when I say I care about you, I actually care enough about you that I give the number to you where you can text me. I don't say things on social media or on YouTube or wherever and don't follow through. If I say it, I play it. If I say it, I mean it. Now, that being said, I want to give you an explanation as to what happened to Humanity Matters, the television series, Humanity Matters Live. For those of you who watched it, you're probably wondering why there are not any new episodes yet. Well, the TV station, PCTV21, decided to try to recoup their funding loss by putting the earnest and, frankly, the pressure on we, the producers. You see, we make the content for PCTV. And I don't think that PCTV realizes that without us, there is no PCTV. They may realize it, but they're not showing it. Now, what do I mean? Well, they've increased membership to $250 a year at least. For other people, it's even more than that. However, that wasn't the sticking point for most of us producers. The ones that decided to put our shows on hiatus or take them elsewhere. That wasn't the sticking point. The sticking point was that just for our show, Humanity Matters Live, we would be looking at putting out $1,400 or more dollars a year. Over $1,400 a year. Because every time we go into the studio, they want $100. And $100 times 12, of course, is in fact $1,200. Right? So... You add your two fifty, and right there you're looking at fourteen hundred and fifty dollars. That does not count transportation. I mean, include transportation. It doesn't include food. It doesn't include anything like that. So what happened is I put Humanity Matters Live on hiatus. Now, what does that mean for Annette, Michael, and Attila? I'll tell you what it means. It means that I will be back on television, and so will my team. However, I will not pay money out like that to make my production and my TV, our TV series. In fact, we will get paid for what we do because we care about people. We help people to the best of our ability. I bring out ideas that could literally change your life, and it's not me, and it's not Mike, it's not Annette, it's not Tilla, it's the Lord God that we are just nothing more, we are not anything more than a messenger or messengers in this case. However, that being said, will Humanity Matters Live ever come back? With God's mighty help, it will. Will it be called Humanity Matters Live? It may be changed. We may change the name. It's possible. However, there will always be a Humanity Matters Live element to everything I do. Now, I want to speak about something very important. There are many people on here who thinks that I, who, I'm sorry, think that I've changed everything. And I have. You're right. I changed it because of you and because of me and because of reality. You see, I'm going to tell you something. Even when Humanity Matters Live or whatever comes back, I'm not going to stop urging you to start a brand new business. I'm not going to stop that because I know the truth, my friends. I know the truth about your economic situation. Excuse me, economical situation or economic situation. I know the fact of the matter is, friends, that in America alone, in America alone, 75 to 78% or more Americans actually 
are living paycheck to paycheck. And guess what? The majority of our paychecks, for those of us who have jobs, please, let's get real. So what exactly do I want you to do? And can you actually do it? For those of you who've been watching Humanity Matters since 2004, you should know better than that. I love you, but you should know better than that. I love you, but I'm not, you know me, I'm not going to let that pass. It's just not going to pass. You should know better than that. Yes, you can do it. Why would I ask you to do something you couldn't do? Do I look silly? I know I act silly, but I'm not silly. How you doing? Now listen up. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to a website, which I'm not going to mention here. But you will go to that website that you will find out on YouTube and social media. Learn the site. You will go there. You put your information in. You watch a five-minute video. And then you follow through. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, I'm going to watch a five-minute video. What's that mean? It could mean the difference of your income, a change in your income. How? Well, it's very simple, friends. The company I speak about, that five-minute video that you're watching, that will be the way that you get people to join you and your team. And when you have a team, guess what happens? You earn an income. What? Huh? What? Yeah, that's right. You can actually earn money from showing a five-minute video because once somebody becomes a member or an affiliate, you're going to get paid. Now, you will get paid weekly, and bonus money, if you earned it, will be monthly. What does that really mean, Albert? You might be asking yourself. Remember, even before I do entrepreneurial uh, ventures, I'm still a journalist. I'm still a hard-hitting journalist when I have to be. It means this. It means you can earn serious income. It means you can earn income whether you are paralyzed. It means you can earn income whether you have vision issues. It doesn't matter. You can do this. Why? Because the principal thing you will be doing is sending people to look at a five-minute video. I want you to hear that. You can do this part-time, you can do this full-time, you can do this during your break at work, and you can still send people and share a five-minute video and send people to it. Why? Because when they join and when they become members or affiliates, that's when everything starts to shine. You know, and by the way, everybody's probably wondering, why do I keep wearing this patriotic American flag style shirt exactly for one reason to get your attention so that you can hear what you need to hear now look I get it there are millions of people out there who's going to see this video someday God willing and they're not going to want to go and do what I ask them to do and I feel sorry for all of them because this company that I speak about is about ready to explode this company is not anything you've ever been used to. It, it's really revolutionizing an industry. I'm not saying that for hype. That's not what I do. I'm saying it because it's the honest to God's truth. And by the way, I'm a baptized Christian. Baptized in Christ, okay? So I'm not lying to you. Now look, I get it. You've been through some stuff. Believe me, I've been through some stuff. Let me ask you a question. How many of you witnessed your dad getting killed in person at the age of 12 years old, seeing all the blood all over the place coming out of his head at 12 years old? You didn't? Well, thank God you didn't. I'm glad you didn't. But I did. How many of you were taken away from your family at very shortly after that for no good reason? Not you? Good. I did. I had it. How many of you almost got killed in 1986 and almost went down about a 500 to 5,000 foot cliff? Not you? Well, thank you. I'm glad. To, I mean, thank you, the Lord, because you didn't. But I have. 
So I'm not here to try to trick you into something. And if you think that, I'm a little disappointed in you. I love you. But when you're wrong, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Look, those of you who have been watching Humanity Matters, you know that I don't play around. I may have fun, but when it's serious, it is more serious than a trillion heart attacks. And remember what my tagline is. That if you ain't doing right, get ready to say goodnight. Now, when I say that, I mean legally, ethically, morally, spiritually, financially, and peacefully. But that's not how I say it. I don't say, if you ain't doing right, get ready to say goodnight. No, that's not how I say it. You want to know how I say it? For those of you who have never heard this, you might want to slightly turn your audio down. Because you're about ready to hear the Elter Casa way. If you ain't doing right, get ready to say good night. And I've done that on live TV. Oh, what does that actually mean? You all remember a disclaimer? Legally, financially, peacefully, ethically, spiritually, and morally, right? I'll give you a perfect example. There is a telecommunications company. It starts with the letter V. And I think we all know what, well, most of us know what company I'm speaking about. How you doing? Well, they tried charging me about $3,000 a year, charging myself for the net. You know what happened when I found out it was $3,000 a year? I completely left them. So when I say, if you ain't doing right, get ready to say goodnight, it can mean financially. Now that company with the letter V gets zero dollars and zero cents because they tried to get three thousand dollars they get zero dollars and zero cents remember that zero dollars zero cents now let me get back to why i keep telling you to start a second income and a business and why you should join ours i'll give you a good reason i want you to earn money while you are asleep and if you do what you need to do it's possible I could tell you stories, well, they're not really stories. I could tell you facts that might make you fall off your chair. Like a homeless gentleman in a wheelchair used nothing but his phone. Started at zero. Now he earns $100,000 plus every month. I said a month. I did not say a year. Listen carefully to what I am saying to you. This man's first name is Tim. Tim started at zero, was homeless, and in a wheelchair. He earns $100,000 or more every month. And for those of you counting, yeah, that's $1.200,000 a year before taxes. From starting from zero, in a wheelchair, and homeless. So listen, this is real. I know what it sounds like. But I am Mr. Humanity Matters Live, Albert Turcaso. And yes, we will have Annette Mendel. We will have Michael McCutcheon or Mike McCutcheon. We will have Attila Lee, God willing, everybody back together. But I will not. I said I will not pay 15, almost $1,500 or more a year to produce it at PCTV. Now, in their semi-defense, yes, they did lose over a quarter of a million dollars of funding. Yes, they are supposedly helped. Well, they are trying to help us learn how to get underwriters. But here is the issue I have with both of those scenarios. You don't put the earnest on the people who are your bread and butter that earns you the money. Number one, you don't do that. You just don't do that, okay? But number two, they said they could teach us how maybe. Well, unless they can actually give us leads, it doesn't help. You see, a lot of us may be talk show hosts, but may not necessarily have the connections we need. What am I supposed to do? Come on here and say, hey, everybody, would you donate $5 until I get $1,500? i am not going to do that? I could probably theoretically do I'm not going to do that. First of all, I refuse to pay that. I refuse to have a, an underwriter pay that. Why? We produce, and many of the producers produce top-of-the-line content. 
Now, sometimes the aesthetics aren't great. Maybe a lot of times. But the content is what matters. We have helped, through God's mighty help, to change and save lives. Do you really think I'm going to let that station or anybody on the planet charge me money when I'm helping others? That's not fair to me. That's not fair to the people that I'm attempting to help. But check this out. Check this out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to continue to make videos. And maybe once in a while I'll do a 15-minute or 30-minute Humanity Matters episode. If I can get the gang together, I'll bring everybody together. But it will only be through cell phone video, most likely, until a couple of things happen. Do I want to get on a network again? Yeah. You think I have a chance? With God's mighty help, all things are possible. Yes, I know that the camera keeps moving a little bit, a little bit, right? A wee bit. <laughs> I said that for my family member, Ivan. Yeah, Ivan, a wee bit. <laughs> he laughs at me for that, but it's all good. We love you, Ivan. Um, listen, of course my content needs to be improved. Of course a lot of people leave. Ask me if I am concerned about that. You see, the people who need to hear this, they're not going to worry about the aesthetics. Will they be improved as I get the funding? You better believe it. You better believe it. One day, I am, God willing, I'm going to have my show looking like it was just on a major network or a streaming network. Yeah. And I, I know what I made, the statement I just made. I know what I said. I said it, because like Bruno said, Bruno Mars said, I said it because I could, or I said it because I can. Check this out. There's no reason why I can't do it. And if you think that I'm afraid to contact these major streaming and network companies, keep this in mind. I've already spoken to movie stars and their agents. You see, I may talk a good game, but here's a little secret. I back it up. My friend Laura even said that. You know what she said to me one time? She said, you talk a lot of S, yeah, that, that, that word, but you back the S up. Yeah, I back the S up because it's something I believe in. I believe in being honest. I believe in integrity. I believe in loyalty. And if I say I love you spiritually, I mean it. And you can just get as mad as you want. You can just say, I'm whatever you want to say, go ahead. It's all good. But the truth is, a lot of you are missing the boat here, to use a silly phrase. See, I am one of your friends, whether you knew it or not. I'm one of your friends. Yeah, you may be 17, you might be like, yeah, my friend. I'm your friend. You might be 90, I don't, yeah, I'm your friend. You know why I'm your friend? Because I love you. It's not, it's not some kind of a game. I don't have time for games. Do you realize I have a heart issue and lymphoma? Yeah. And I'm still moving strong. And I'm going to keep moving strong. Because I love you. And if you don't like that, well, guess what? Call 911. Like the song says, somebody call 911. You want to put me in jail for loving you? Well, go ahead. Call 911. And wherever you are on the planet, go ahead. You think I'm scared? I'm not. Because I have God. And because I love you. And I'm not going to stop. And if I tell you to go and join a business, would you just do it already? It's not like you're going to be alone. Listen, if you join our team, it's called the Freedom Team. Yeah, the Freedom Team. But it's more than that. You see, once you join, you'll be able to get in touch with me on a personal level. You'll be able to get in touch with Ivan and others. We want you to succeed. In fact, we need you to succeed. 
There's something about me and Ivan. Ivan Harris Sr. And I got I gotta use this. I got I mean I gotta do a sidebar, if you will. Ivan would laugh at me for that. So what do you think you are, an attorney? I'm an attorney over here. I'm a mouthpiece over here. Hey, I'm Italian. I love all of my fellow Italians. But come on, guys and gals. You know we're like that sometimes. Come on. You know we can be like that. Come on now. And, and, and everybody, you know what? This is one time I can't forget about it over here. <laughs> No, seriously, though. But Ivan and I, and a lot of people on our team, but specifically Ivan Harris Sr. and Albert J. Turcaso, we actually mean what we say. We care. In fact, I'll share something with you. We've been in other companies that they stopped doing what they were supposed to do. They stopped doing what was right. And some of them had fantastic products. But they stopped doing what they were supposed to do. You know what happened? Most of our team left. I left. Ivan left. Other people left. Why? Because if they're not doing right, we're not going to be there. You see, Ivan's integrity and my integrity and a few others, it comes first, friends. It comes first. And I can, they can have the best product on earth. If they're not doing right, I'm out of there. Ivan's reputation and credibility and my reputation and credibility and, and frankly, our compassion and love for you, that, that supersedes everything. God is first and then our fellow human beings. And then for me, it's God, our fellow human beings, and animals. And the planet. But let me tell you something. This is the truth. It would hurt you almost. Emotionally. If you knew. How much I care about you. Why do I say that? Because it's. It's kind of. I don't know. It's, it's just. You know. It's not like we. Really. Have had. A lot of us haven't had that kind of closeness. I can tell you something about Ivan Harris Sr. He's on YouTube. He's on Twitter. Well, I don't know about Twitter. He's on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. He's on Facebook. I really think you need to learn who Ivan Harris Sr. is. Check him out. Check out his videos. You might be thinking, well, why? Ivan is a very unique human being. He is very special. He is actually, I don't care if you're atheist, he is a, a gift to us from God. Now, Ivan wouldn't, wouldn't go there. He's very humble, but he doesn't realize who he is sometimes. He doesn't think he's all that special. I, I'm here to tell you, Ivan, if you ever see this, you're special. He has helped me through some trying times, you know? And he was the only one that stayed stood by me in terms of business, in terms of being a mentor. He's the only one who kept his word. So yeah, I'm very, very serious. When I say I will not let you down, and I will do my best never to let you down, we're only human. But we're not going to leave you hanging. And I'll tell you something else. I'm fighting to get you in on my team. That's right, I am. But it's more than that. There's something to it. And it's a lot of times, even though I'm a journalist, it's, it's hard to actually articulate it, but let me attempt to do that. I want you to be able to go into stores or restaurants, wherever you want to go, and get what you want and get what you need. I've said that on videos before. I'm sure people kind of didn't buy into it, but I'm serious. And there's a reason why I feel the way that I feel. You see, and I told this before, but when I was like 17, 18 years old, I was in a food prep preparation, pepper, I think I said that right, preparation. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. 
program and I happened to go to a soup kitchen with our team and there was this child, I don't know, he may have been five or seven years old or whatever. And he came up and he asked for an extra piece of bread. I'd never been there before, I didn't know. So I gave the child five extra pieces of bread. Five extra pieces of bread. That's it, nothing else. Bread. This child acted as if I had given him, given him a full course meal. That's affected me since that day. And I refuse to accept that anywhere on the planet that people are starving. And I'll tell you something else that burns me up. You see my patriotic shirt on? Well, I care about our veterans in America and veterans around the globe, but especially here in America. I consider each and every veteran a hero. The idea that there are veterans committing suicide because they're not getting the mental health care they need. The idea that there are homeless veterans well, I'm not going to lie. I get angry about that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have an agenda. You know what it is? To do what's right in America. Because we sure can't depend on the Democrats and Republicans. Come on, people. You call yourself a liberal or a conservative or whatever. Come on, gang. It's a joke. It's a, it's a game to keep you hating each other. You really think the liberals or the conservatives in D.C. are going to help you? Let me give you a news flash. When our government was shut down a few times, every Democrat got their paycheck. Every Republican got their paycheck. But the owners of this country, you know, we the people, didn't get it. Why? Shouldn't it have been the people getting paid and them getting not to be paid? But that's not how it works, is it? So I don't want to hear that you're a liberal or you're a conservative. Be an American. Or be a Jamaican. Whatever you are. But today is a day of reckoning. We're going to legally, peacefully, and ethically change this world. Now, if you're in to win, I need you to say in this comment section of YouTube. I want you to say, I'm in to win. I want you to press the like button. I want you to give comment and subscribe and press the notification bell. But if you're really in to win, if you really love America or wherever you are, if you have stories, if you've been in pain, if you want to change your life, I want you to say, I'm here to win. And I'm not going to give in. Say it with me right now, people, my family and friends. Say it, and say it loud and proud, and if people don't like it, well, forget about it for them. We're going to say it together. I'm here to win, and I'm not giving in. And maybe I actually accidentally sound like a minister, but I love ministers too. I'm here to win, and I'm not giving in. I'm here to win. And I'm not giving in. Maybe you're a football fan of the NFL. It's time we become the Super Bowl champions of our lives. Because let me tell you a little breaking news. No matter if they win or not, you ain't getting paid. You're not getting paid. But if you start your own business and you do the thing like showing the video, you just might get paid. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm here to win. And I'm not giving in. Or in the words of the late Tom Petty, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. My name is Albert J. Tricasso. 412-559-2731. If you want to win, text me and text me now. Oh, yeah. I went there and we're going to have the return of Humanity Matters Live. Coming soon. But in the meantime, I'm in it to win it. And I'm here to win. And I am not. I am not giving in.